Meanwhile, Umberto has traveled to China. He plans to visit the Shaolin monks here, the masters of body control and concentration. I don't understand all that much about the science of breathing, but I know from my own experience that a deep inner tranquility is important if you want to make the most of your body's own resources down there in the depths of the ocean. And I'm looking for that tranquility here in China. Umberto's destination is an ancient Shaolin monastery at the foot of Mount Song in the province of Henan. place and its inhabitants are shrouded in mythology. The monks are reputed to have superhuman powers and Umberto is eager to learn more about their secret. My mentor Jacques Mayol also spent months in monasteries to learn the breathing techniques of pranayama. Being here is like reliving the stories that Jack Mayol used to tell me when I began my diving career. Fu is not only a martial art. At the core of it lies a philosophy based on the unity of body and mind. The breath is the foundation of both movement and mental energy. A good warrior succeeds in freeing his mind of bad thoughts. Kung Fu is an attitude to life. The men train for many hours each day. They believe in the body energy known as Qi. The monks even seem to be able to conquer pain with their breathing and meditation techniques. Master introduces me to the finer aspects of Kung Fu. He explains to me that all strength is essentially concentration. It's only by using concentration the person can shift the Qi to the various regions of his body. The nights at the monastery were short and I hopefully didn't sleep that well. The day's experiences kept going through my mind. 
the monk's body control and that strange calmness that they irradiated. Maybe with their help I can defeat that dull pain in my head that I feel so often when I'm deep below the ocean. Monastery day begins in the middle of the night at 4 a.m. The first morning prayer is a preparation for the tasks of the day ahead. Under the master's supervision, Umberto tests out his skill in the martial art, Kung Fu. <laughs> the monks are impressed. A long nose from the west isn't doing badly at all. Umberto did learn karate during his youth, after all. <laughs> On his last day at the monastery, Umberto is given perhaps the most important lesson of all. The master says that all around us, the world is charged with energy invisible pathways full of energy in every leaf in every ray of sunshine and in every movement of air however gentle it is it shows me how to absorb this energy within myself and make good use of it The longer we practice, the more I realize what it means. As a farewell gift, the master presents his pupil with a piece of calligraphy. He writes the words, consistent Shaolin practice makes the master. And that is exactly what Umberto wants to be, the master in his very own element, the master in the battle for the deep. Thank you. Sure, sure.